hi guys and welcome back to my channel my name is benny i know it's been a minute and today i'm bringing you this tutorial of a neutral makeup look which i created on cara who is my model for today she has the most beautiful dark skin so we just did this neutral makeup look with a pop of color on her eyes so without wasting any time let's just get right into the tutorial So after applying some lip balm on her lips so that it stays moisturized throughout the makeup process, I'm going in with this hydrating spray on her face and then I'm going in with a mattifying primer from Pons. I'm just applying that using a flat synthetic foundation brush. I'm just working that into her eyebrow as well to mattify that area so that it doesn't end up coming across as oily. Next I'm just going to color correct this area around her mouth slightly. I'm working in that corrector with a flat synthetic foundation brush. Going in with this black opal cream stick foundation in the shade hazelnut around the perimeters of her face and then I'm going to use the shade nutmeg right in the center of her face so the area underneath of her eyes her chin as well and the center of her forehead then I'm going to blend in that foundation using a beauty blender just to work in that cream formula I really love working with cream foundations they're so easy and they end up looking like skin when you blend it in properly so we just work that in by bouncing the beauty blender and I use the lighter color on the center of her face so that it draws in the light and the darker shade around the perimeters of her face because her, her color is right in between those two shades Next, I'm using Ellie Girl Pro Concealer in the shade Fawn right underneath her eyes to highlight her cupid's bow, her chin, and the center of her nose and her forehead. Next, I'm going to just blend in that highlight with a beauty blender. I'm going in very carefully just to blend in that color. I'm working that product on her eyelid as well. Making sure that that area underneath her eye is smooth. Then I'm setting the concealer with Benai Banana Powder. I'm using that to set that concealer in place so there's no creasing. And so we can maintain that bright under eye. Just working that powder in using the Beauty Blender as well. I picked up the products with the Beauty Blender. Pretty much all the areas that I highlighted before. And then I'm going to set the center of her nose using that pen eye powder as well. Next, I'm sweeping off every excess um, powder. Now I'm going in with powder in her shade and I'm using Tara face powder, Tara pressed powder for the face and I'm using a flat kabuki brush to apply that powder. Next I'm going in with a powder from Tara as well to contour her nose. So just down the sides of her nose and right underneath the tip of her nose just to lift her nose up. 
and I'm working that into her crease just underneath of her eyebrow as well make sure to blend in that color really nicely now I'm going into the sides of her face just to define her cheekbone area starting in on her brow I'm just brushing that up and then I'm going in with this ABH brow gel and I'm using a flat liner brush to apply that brow product in soft strokes just join hair like strokes on her brow so that we have a very natural brow finish so that brow gel actually also helps the hair to just lie down in the direction that I place them I'm going in on the other brow so first join a line underneath her brow first and then I'm drawing another line on top and I'm taking this easy I'm going in to draw hair like strokes to mimic her real hair and mimic the direction of hair growth and I'm being a little bit light-handed towards the front of the brow so for under her brow I'm actually using this black opal concealer in the shade heavenly honey just to clean up that eyebrow and I'm going to spread that concealer blend it in with the rest of the concealer on the lid so we have a smooth surface to place our eyeshadow and all of our eye products on Next, I'm going in with this e.l.f. cream glow stick kind of formula. It's, it's like a cream eyeshadow or it's a cream highlighter, but I'm using it as an eyeshadow base. Then over that, I'm setting that cream with this Urban Decay eyeshadow, pressing it onto her eyelid to set that cream and to intensify the color. I'm going in to define the crease area with this Wet n Wild eyeshadow like a dark gray almost black eyeshadow and I'm just blending that out using a blending brush or a crease brush to transition into her brow bone I'm using some dark powder in between the crease area and the brow bone area so there's no real color there it's not color transition it's a very neutral brown color which is very close to her skin tone so that we just blend out the crease color and fan it out I'm going in with this NYX eyeshadow base in her waterline and then over that I'm applying some I think this is a Zarion eyeshadow going in on her upper lash line with this liquid eyeliner i picked that up with a liner brush and i'm just following the line of our upper lash just to define that area as liner now i'm going in with this black gel liner also from zaron and i'm going underneath of her lash line with that and this is going to create a new lash line and emphasize the lighter waterline so we're winging out that liner and then we pop on some lashes 
now i'm just showing you i apply the highlights we actually lost the footage to that so you see the high points of her cheekbone the sides of her chin her forehead just for that added glow everywhere just really nice and healthy looking and glowing and pretty so this might be a lot of highlighter for some of you i realized that but that's what we're going for here we wanted some extra glow and when it has skin to just be really you know popping in those particular areas not everywhere then I'm going in with the mascara on her lower lash line very carefully so we don't mess up with all the work that we did already so you see that that lip balm over her lip actually helped to keep her lips moisturized and plump throughout this whole makeup application process now I'm applying some matte lip color with this is like a nude pink shade with a brush i'm going in with more highlight on the high points of her nose in between her eyes and that's it that's the finished look very easy very simple glam that's it guys i hope you really like this video if you did please don't forget to subscribe and don't forget to like this video leave a comment below i really love to hear what you have to say any suggestions and videos that you like to see let me know in the comments below as well and until next time guys thank you so much for watching bye